This section of the Start Making Biodiesel DVD shows you how to perform the titration process of making biodiesel. So the, the first step is doing the titration, and that's to determine the free fatty acid content of your vegetable oil. And so we measured out one liter of water here, and now we've got to measure out one gram of sodium hydroxide. Can it? There we go. Interesting. <laughs> Okay, so if I didn't have a digital scale like that, how would I be able to measure it out accurately? Well, you can also use a manual scale like we have here. Uh, this is a triple beam balance scale. And uh, of course it works the same way, but um, what we call zeroing the scale is a little bit more intensive. So we've already zeroed the scale here. Um, so whenever you put the cup on, it comes to a zero point. But uh, typically, you would have to measure out the actual weight of the container and subtract that out so that you can actually get an actual gram of sodium hydroxide when you're measuring it. But when you're using a digital scale, you just have to place the container on the scale, uh, hit the zero button or the on and off button, and you can zero it out, and you can just add uh, one gram of sodium hydroxide. Okay, so where would one be able to find a digital scale or a triple beam balance? Um, any local chemistry supply store, uh, you can find a brick and mortar one just by looking at yellow pages or you can look up one online. Uh, typically your online sources would be cheaper but you also have to pay for shipping so take that into account. Uh, you can look onto our website for a few affiliates and a few other options just for ease of access. Okay, so how much, um, and what is this called again? What is Sodium hydroxide or lye. Okay, so how much of that are we putting into this little cup? Uh, one gram. Okay, so. And now what's the next process? You dissolve this one gram into one liter of, of water. And what does that do? Well, it makes a solution such that you have, every time you drop in a certain amount of liquid, you have a certain amount of grams of sodium hydroxide. So we're going to drop this liquid into the uh, vegetable oil solution and determine how much sodium hydroxide was in the liquid to make the pH of the vegetable oil solution to be between 8 and 9. For more information, check out our website at www.startmakingbiodiesel.com.